Hello, this video on how to use the Adalify file uploader. Um, so, assuming you have an account on Adalify already, um, you'll need to choose which plan you want. Um, so, each different plan has a different amount of storage and bandwidth as we're dealing with files here, uh, videos, and streaming. So, pick which plan is best for you. Um, and once you've subscribed to one of those, uh, you can use your API key on the dash um, and get going. You'll also want to have a look at the docs. Okay, and here we go, file, upload, and storage API. It's a two-step API. On the first call, we generate and upload a URL. We save that URL to the database and um, link to a new page. So all of this can be inside a button. On the next page we have a web view um, and for that web view we want to use that URL returned from the first API call. Um, the user is going to upload their file into that web view and then the next button will retrieve the file they uploaded. So let's go have a look on Adalo how this set up. Okay. On the database for users, I've added a few properties, upload a URL, file ID, and file URL. Um, so here's our home page. We've got an upload button, which will take us to the uploader page. We're going to want a custom action, uh, which I set up earlier. It's a create type, method is post, and here is your endpoint. You can find all of this. Um, in the Adalify docs here. Okay, there's that endpoint. Um, header authorization, this is as follows. You have authorization, bearer, space, and your API key. Um, now, query parameters are optional. You can have a max file size in bytes, um, and you can also uh, choose which file types to accept. Maybe you only want your users put in a PDF or images or videos, etc. So here's some example options that you can um, um, you can have for that parameter. Um, here I've just um, put a max file size. If you don't put that, it will be 20 megabytes upload size. Um, so I think that yeah, that's ready to test. Run test request. And there we go, test successful. If we look at the response here, it's um, the important data is the upload URL. Um, that's the what we're going to be using. So the next action will be update user um, response to that custom action upload URL. So once we've saved that to the user from the first API call, we can link to the next page. On the next page, we have a web view. Make sure it's a good size. Um, you'll see why after. And that will be the logged in user uploader URL. And then we've got a confirm upload button. Um, and here, uh, we can retrieve file. Okay, and uh, ignore that for now. Let's look at the setup of the custom action here. Uh, it's a get method. Here is the base URL. Again, this is all in the documentation here. Um, so you're going to have your normal authorization header with your API key. Um, and the only parameter is the ID, which goes up here um, in the base URL. Now, when we're doing the ID, we must use here this specific example upload ID. That's very important. So copy that into your example value and press done. Then we can run test request. Um, successful. And here in the full response we've got many different um, pieces of data that you might want. Uh, but the most important thing is um, data.url here um, which is the link to the file we've just uploaded. So let's save custom action and we want one more action, update logged in user um, file URL is 
the retrieve file, this was the custom action we just did, data URL. Okay, so and that's about it, and then link to the next page. I've got a display video, um, for example, if we're uploading a video. One thing I've missed here, uh, on that first API call, it's going to give us a file ID. We want to use that, so a Dalify upload data ID. So make sure that's in there, so that we can use it in the next um, in the second API call, logged in user file ID. So don't forget that step. Um, so this should be good to test, I think. Let's have a look. And oh, finally, we've got this um, player video component just to test that. Um, it uploaded properly and it can play. So that would be the file URL in the component. Let's preview. Okay, so we're gonna hit upload. That will generate that URL and save it to the database and link to the next page. On this new page in our web view, we use that URL and you can see the file uploader here. Um, so let's do a video, for example. Okay, so in this example, there's 63 megabytes. Hmm. I'm not sure what my settings are on my account, but that should be fine. The, um, the file uploader can upload very large files, which is a great feature. You'll notice when it starts uploading, it looks a little bit slow, and then it gets much, much faster. Okay, so there is a 63 megabyte video, no problem. Let's confirm uploaded and see if the video works. There we go. Okay, and to show you one more thing, let's go all the way back. Uh, each time we're calling that uh, URL, we need, to, we need to generate it again. Each um, upload URL is specific for that file ID. So remember that. So we're going to click upload again. It's going to create a new uploader. Okay, and this time, Let's get this picture of a kebab. But here, if you click on the pencil, you have um, an opportunity to crop the image. Okay, so we can crop the landscape, uh, we can drag that, we can move that. Um, so bear in mind, if you want users to be using this, you might want to drag the web view to be a little bit bigger because it's, it's maybe a little small here to be user friendly. So finished editing, I've cropped it upload file and then if I press confirm uploaded it will return the URL of course that won't play in the video component but that has saved to the database so that sums it up really there are some um, good features you can sort of add to that on the Adalo side of things to make it um, a bit better so I might do a follow-up video soon um, on some cool tricks that you can use. So I hope that's helpful. Any questions, please ask.